Hi, boys and girls. Hey, listen. I want to talk to you about uh, uh, a problem that I ran into. Actually, it happened at the uh, repair clinic. And uh, unfortunately, it happened to somebody else, but I was able to uh, straighten it out. I'm going to explain some things about uh, AC hum or hum noise uh, on a radio. So, uh, and that, this happened to be the radio that uh, was a problem child, ironically. It was an H H500 uh, Transoceanic chassis. So uh, here, let me let me let me explain uh, a few things, and then we'll get to uh, what happened here. All right. So sometimes what you can do is is that if you have a plug that's similar to this, and sometimes your older plugs were the same way, you notice that both the terminals are the same size. Most modern plugs actually will have. One, one of these uh, prongs slightly larger than the other so you can only go in here one way but sometimes when you have an older radio especially if, like if it's a battery portable or whatever sometimes you can plug this in here like so and turn the radio on and there might be a small amount of hum that you hear but sometimes you can also eliminate that sometimes by just taking the plug and just rotating it 180 degrees and flipping it over and plugging back in and then just see what it sounds like on the radio. But that wasn't the problem with this radio. Alright, now here's a chassis that H500 flipped over. And uh, let me get the pointer. Right where I got the camera, right here. This is the original filter cap here. And that has been replaced by some new modern capacitors. Okay, there's a total of five electrolytic capacitors on this particular radio, but the the problem was is that the even though that the capacitors were all replaced, all five of them, and uh, I mean they weren't the exact values, but they were good enough to make the radio work and hopefully play without hum. But here's here's where the problem happened. Now, right now, if you look over here to the side, I installed this terminal strip today. And I took all the capacitors except for this one here, which is usually a 12 microfarad at the 160 volt cap. Um, this one really doesn't matter. And where the ground is connected to this electrolytic capacitor was about here. But also, all the other capacitors, the other four, were also tied here. And when they were trying to get the radio to work, they would turn the radio on and would hear hum. So even though you had brand new capacitors in place, we still had a hum. Now why is that? Now, I have the schematic for this radio up on my my laptop right now, but I, I've done some of these radios. I kind of sort of know this by heart. Now although that there is this radio it does have a chassis ground, but also has what's called I I I, I, <laughs> I call it a circuit ground. Sometimes it's just called a floating ground. And if you look here in this part of the schematic, it says here, it shows that it, it, if, with the symbols, you have a, uh, a regular chassis ground to your left, and to your right you have like a B-minus ground, or uh, some people call it a floating ground, I call it a, a circuit ground. So what happened is, is that the four capacitors that didn't belong to the chassis ground actually belongs to this ground instead and that's where we were getting the uh, the noise here and here's here's the four filter capacitors right here in the picture you can see there's a 60, a 20, a 40 and a 200 microfarad and all of them are tied together to that floating ground right there so that was the problem I've also seen this floating ground or, or uh, circuit ground on other battery uh, operated radios as well. Now this course being a transoceanic it's it can be run off an ACN battery. Now the owner of this radio, his name is Owen, and he's, uh, he made a battery pack similar to mine and when we tried putting this on here it kind of uh, it, it worked, it, it played great but the minute you plug this in it just started to hum and uh, make noise. Now as some of you already know this radio utilizes a 1L6 tube, similar to this one here. It's a pentagrid converter, and basically it's there to provide really good oscillation so you could actually 
utilize the 16, 19, and 25 meter bands on this radio. It'll get this thing to oscillate high enough that you could go up to, uh, say, about, well, in this case, the high point, highest point of the whole radio is probably about 18, 18.3 megs. Now, when I got the radio from Owen, Owen bought this radio without any tubes in it, so what he did was he actually made this, and this is kind of cool. This is a 1LC6, and he made a little adapter for it. I guess it's out of an old tube. Soldered it all together, and this was what was actually in the radio when I got it. And I left it in the radio while I was, you know, doing my work and troubleshooting and taking voltage readings and all that. There's just one problem with this tube, though. Um, once you do get to the 25, uh, 19, and 30, uh, 19 and 16 uh, megacycle bands on the radio, it, it, it was picking up stations, but they were actually a little bit on the low side, and I couldn't tweak the oscillator adjustments to get them within, to get them properly within the scale, so that as you, you know, you turn the, the dial here and you're picking up stations that they just wouldn't couldn't get the thing to line up uh, no matter what I did alignment wise so the radio is now all set it's aligned and uh, oh and I had this uh, I had uh, two spare 106's so as long as I have one for myself this one's yours but I would like to have this with your blessings so if you want if you see this video and you want to comment uh, I will give you that 1L6 if I could have this 1LC6 because this would be great for uh, testing uh, other transoceanics. If I could have this, to, to be uh, greatly appreciated. So, anyhow, so there's the story of the old floating round. So uh, anyway, figure I'd share that with you. So when you see a battery radio, just uh, be aware of that. So there may be more than one ground in there, and uh, that that uh, that could probably throw you for a loop. So anyway, thanks for watching. And take care. Bye. Osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis. Женина, что же выдумка, да? Выражается только корректно авторский взгляд. Да. Good, not too bad at the Lincoln and the Holland, and I'm Tom O'Hanlon with the Fan Highway Patrol. Have the legalistics with you, but I do not think that. Now you can finance the purchase of your extra. No purchase necessary, void where for professional. Because their customers include some of the biggest companies in Canada. To around the 130s as you're making your way through the world. Three important notices about emergencies and steps you can take to minimize their impact on you and your family. Set a button on your car radio so you can find this frequency fast when safety is an issue. FCC rules that govern this service allow this station to broadcast any information at any time to protect the safety. Okay. Oh, now you got to take the strap to my camera. Atta boy. Show him how tough you are. <laughs>